Hi everybody, this is Krishna Vandanapu, a business applications MVP. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will learn how to preview any document in Power Apps without using a flow. The business case is user always want to see the quick view of a document before he or she open the document. But unfortunately, we know that we can show a preview of a PDF, but we don't have a way to show the preview of Excel and Word document because we don't have a component in Power Apps. Let us see how we can implement that and to ensure that user is able to preview the document before he or she open the document in the respective data source. I logged on to Power Apps Maker Portal and my intention is I have a document library in SharePoint which has various type of documents types and I wanted to show a preview of each and every document before user open the document and read the document completely. I have added the document library as a data source in my Power App and I'm adding a gallery to show all the documents from the document library and here I wanted to show two things. One is the file name, whatever the file name with extension. And if the file name is Excel, I want to show Excel icon. If it is a PDF, PDF icon. If it is a Word document, Word document icon. Basically, whichever the document, the respective icon I wanted to show here. So that user will also know which type of document they are navigating on to. I have uploaded all the predefined icons as part of my media gallery. All I need to do is I need to write formula to ensure that the respective image is rendered as per the document type. If my file name extension has XLS in this item dot file name with extension, if that is there, I wanted to render Excel icon. If is there excel icon is something what i wanted to render so whatever the files i have with the extension as xls i see that in a similar way if i replace my formula as like this which will show if it is excel excel icon document word icon png png image pdf pdf icon so on and so forth so now what we got is we got the gallery with appropriate icons rendered or each and every list item i went ahead and formatted the gallery a bit further to look more proficient way so this is how it will look like now my next step is i wanted to show a preview of the document before i move further to show the user the complete document what i did is i have added one eye icon what i am doing is using this on select of the eye icon i am launching the respective document as launch this item dot link to item what this link to item will do is it will give me the complete path of the current list item what it will do is if i click on this eye icon it will open my document fully but i don't want user to open the document every time i want the user to do a preview before they land onto the document so what i can do is i can add a image here on the image what i'm going to do is i'm going to say gallery documents dot selected dot there is a property called thumbnail for the document library each and every document we can get the thumbnail of the document in three different formats one is a large medium and small what it will do is it will get the preview of the document it will get the quick view of the document whatever it is there as part of the document if i just go here i can see the document as a preview why i am saying as a preview is if the document has more than one page 
it will get only the first page as a sneak peek of the document. Now, if user really want to see what it is, they can click on that and they can see what, a, what the document is completely consists of. Similarly, the Excel file. But if you see, it is not so visible to the user. I want to give one more step further as expand and compress of this preview image by adding a expand and collapse icon. When I click on plus, I want to expand this preview. When I click on minus, I want to compress that image. To implement enlarging and compressing the preview, I wanted to create a variable on visible property of my screen as update context where zoom uh, percentage as I wanted to increase a percentage of 10 with the previous value. And on the similar hand, I want to compress the image when I click on minus. Now I wanted to set those parameters on the image property. When I go to width, the width of this image is by default showing as 556. But I want to enhance the width and height of this image so that this will get enlarged and user can see a little further on the image. I am going to increase the width as where zoom parameter percentage where zoom percentage multiply by 10%. If I go ahead and verify that when I click on plus it is just increasing the width as well it is going on to the right hand side because when I come here the width of the image is going beyond the screen. To control that what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this image preview and the plus and minus icons as part of a container so that though it increases, it will not go beyond my screen. To add those three controls into container, select those three controls, cut and select the container and paste inside that control container so that all these three controls will come under container. Now I'm just placing the container here and the width of this image, I wanted to set it as parent dot width, whatever the width of my container. And these two images, I wanted to set on top of this container so that user can see easily and now I wanted to ensure that I should be able to do a scrolling if the image width is increased and if the height is increased. In order to do that I am adding two scrollers one is horizontal and the other one is for vertical. So how can I change this direction? Just say vertical, it will automatically change the behavior from horizontal to vertical. I went ahead and customized the container and adjusted the height and width of this horizontal and vertical scroller to make it in line with the CSS of the app. And also what I did is, if you see, I have set the default value of the scroller as 100 because I want my vertical scroller to be from top to bottom. If I don't do that, if I see the default value of this horizontal scroller is value is zero. If I make it as zero, it will also come, the bubble will come to the bottom, but I don't want that to happen. I want to have, I want, it should be from top to bottom because when I do the increase of this preview, and I should be able to scroll down and scroll up. And this one is to horizontal left to right. On the image property at the width, what I did is I mentioned the property as parent.width, which is the 
containers weight and followed by zoom percentage multiplied by 10 because the zoom percentage we are setting up as part of this image on click property which is nothing but as soon as I click on expand icon I am increasing the value of the percentage by 10 and that is what we are multiplying as part of the width of this image for the height of this image also I am using the similar pro formula as parent height plus where zoom percentage multiply by the parent height divided by parent width multiply by 10. What I am doing is I am calculating in such a way that it is not increasing exponentially the height because if I increase the height exponentially what happens is the text will go blur. I should ensure my image X and Y positions as per this horizontal and vertical scrollers. How could I do that is on the property X what I am doing is parent width minus image width. What is the parent width of this one is container width minus whatever the image I have the, the width of that multiply by slider value divided by 100. If I see that this is how it is just moving. Using that formula I am controlling my x position of this image as well on the y also y axis I have used the same formula but this time I have used my vertical scroller 100 minus because here I am using the value as 100, 100 minus whatever the value I have as part of this. Scroller itself has its own value. So I have made that show value as false. If I just made that, we will be able to see what is the value. If you see this, I'm going down, it's going to the one. So this is how we can show the preview of each and every document. If I want to reset the size of these what I can do is I can add one simple icon as reset icon. I am resetting my zoom percentage to one and I am resetting my sliders, both the sliders, slider vertical and horizontal. What happens is if I reset those two sliders and the percentage, the percentage will go to one percent. So it is going to get the actual size of the image. The Preview of the document will always depends on the document quality if it is Excel. Unfortunately, the thumbnail of the Excel is little blurry. But whereas if it is a simple image, it will it will come very clearly. And though if you enlarge, it will be very clear and I can see my image then and there. Even after that, user want to see what is the document. They can click on that and they can see the document. The development tip for today's video is if I want to set the global styling for all my controls meaning that all my text boxes should follow a specific border color and specific font, spe specific text format. What I can do is rather than just selecting control one by one and changing the format and doing repetitively at the app level create a global variable at the app stating that set border as red. Now you can set this value to all these controls by clicking on the border color so this is how if I just change this to green, the color will go change for all the controls. So this way my styling will be globalized at the app level. I hope this tip will be helpful for you to implement the styling for the app. If you like this video, hit like and add your comments. This is my contact information. I'm highly available on Twitter and LinkedIn. If you have any questions, contact me on these channels. I can respond to you as soon as I could. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.